The adventure is out there, waiting. The Dakar, the surface of the ultimate challenge. Our engineers, designers, and explorers have worked and lived for this moment. Willing to challenge everything, to shape the future. Energized to constantly evolve. Driven by the spirit to perform. Sparking an icon into a new era of racing. Challenge accepted. And welcome to the show, Road to Dakar, the countdown. And welcome also to my co-host, Felix von der Laden. It's nice to see you. Hello, Molly. It's nice to see you too. Being a motorsport fan myself, I'm very curious to see how the completely new designed Audi RSQ e-tron will perform at the Dakar. On the technical side, it is definitely well thought out, right down to the smallest of details, and it is assembled perfectly. Typically German? Of course. <laughs> but as every motorsport fan knows, the Dakar shows no mercy with drivers and material. Before the Audi RSQ e-tron pulls up at the starting line, we want to take a closer look at it and talk to the people who designed and built it. And of course, those who will be driving the Audi RSQ e-tron. Yes, to that end, we'll be talking today to some very interesting guests on our show. Joining us are Oliver Hoffmann, Audi Board of Management Member for Technical Development, Julius Seebach, Managing Director of Audi Sport, Sven Quant, CEO and Team Principal of Q Motorsport and himself a multiple Dakar winner. Audi Quattro rally legend Michel Mouton and the complete Audi Dakar driver lineup of the Audi RSQ e-tron. Stefan Peter Hansel, Carlos Sainz and Matthias Ekström. Stay tuned, it's worth it. It definitely is. But before we talk to our first guests in the Audi Dakar studio, we would like to go directly to Saudi Arabia, where we're now joined by Kareem Deeb. Hello Kareem, it's nice to see you. Hello, Molly. Nice to see you here directly from the Middle East. I would like to extend a warm welcome to all the participants of the 2022 Dakar Rally, and especially to the Audi team. We are very excited about the rally debut of the Audi RSQ e-tron. This car will put the desert under a high voltage. So good luck to everyone, and we look forward to seeing you at the starting line in early January. Thank you, Karim. This leads us to the topic. In 2022, the 44th edition starts and Audi will participate for the very first time with the Audi RSQ e-tron. And on board of that rally car, a powertrain that is completely electric and a TFSI engine from DTM, which is part of an energy converter system that charges the high voltage battery while driving. As a pioneer in motorsport, Audi can look back on decades of famous rallies. Yes, they can indeed, Felix. And now it's time for a new chapter in this story. It's time to challenge new limits. To get a better understanding of this exciting project, it is my pleasure to welcome our first studio guest, Audi board member for technical development, Oliver Hoffman. Rally racing has played an important role in the Audi story. I grew up following the successes of the Quadro and S1. Audi's engineering, design and performance defined an era of motorsport. And now, we are back to write the next chapter at the Rally Dakar. For me personally, it's incredibly exciting. A real dream come true. Oliver, welcome. Hi Molly, good to be here. For the first time in official competition, the RSQ e-tron combines an electric powertrain with an energy converter system, consisting of a TFSI engine and a generator. Audi's decision to take on one of the world's toughest rallies with a car like this is no coincidence, is it? Motorsport has always been our testing ground. Testing new technologies on the track or in a rally is in our DNA. It's how we live, Vorsprung durch Technik. The Dakar Rally is one of the toughest and most unpredictable races. It's the ultimate challenge for our RSQ e-tron and its alternative drivetrain. As a former racing driver, I think I have some idea of the challenges ahead. Murphy's law that anything that can go wrong will go wrong is especially true of the Dakar. Testing in extreme conditions is nothing new for us. 
We know it's where we learn the most. No pain, no gain. Whatever we do, we want to do it right. And when we test something, we want to test it in tough conditions. We will do our best. And if that's not enough this time, we will be back next year for sure. And when the Dakar is over, we will find out if the RSQ e-tron was up for the challenge of the world's toughest rally. But what happens after that? Our goal is to win with our innovative concept. An electric powertrain combined with a TFSI engine that charges our battery while racing. Of course, we are also realistic and now we will face a steep learning curve in our first ever Dakar rally. But one thing is for sure, our commitment won't end after the Dakar rally in 2022. Being a motorsport enthusiast, what did you personally think the first time you saw the RSQ e-tron in real life? Molly, this car is insane. The looks are just as radical as the technology in it. Thank you for your insights, Oliver. It's been a huge pleasure talking to you. Now it's time for three guests who all have one thing in common, a passion for motorsport, for rallying in particular, and for the Audi brand. First of all, my colleague Felix welcomes Julius Serbach. As managing director of Audi Sport, it is exciting to be pioneering a new concept for Audi with the Audi RSQ e-tron at the Dakar Rally. With a decision to participate at the same time, we accepted a challenge and developed the first prototype in only about 12 months, making things possible that many consider impossible. For me, that is progress and what makes the Dakar project so very special to me. Hi, Julius. A year ago, the Audi RSQ e-tron didn't even exist, right? Yeah, that's right, Felix. And now, just a year later, today we're standing in front of a Finnish vehicle that is not only ready to race, but will also directly compete in the Dakar. We designed and built this complex vehicle in just 12 months. So to say, non-stop from a white sheet of paper into the desert. The debut of this really unique vehicle will be the Dakar that already reflects a certain ambition. In fact, this represents the first milestone of our new motorsport strategy. We wanted our entry into the Dakar to be completely Audi-like. This means technology combined with a fascinating dynamic design, and this is what Audi stands for. And how do you assess your chances to succeed? I trust in our engineering skills and the ability to make things possible that many consider impossible. For me, that is progress. We have everything what it takes to be successful, but we also have to be realistic. In the first year, driving the Dakar to the finish line would already be a victory for us. Julius, where do you see the parallels between Audi's racing pioneers of the past and the Audi Dakar project of the present? Audi has always done things in motorsport that no one really dared to do before. For the Dakar project, we now developed our drive concepts further and tested them on different terrains, in the desert and under extreme conditions. And the extreme is exactly what gets us excited. That's how it is. Thank you very much, Julius. You're welcome, Felix. And now, Molly, who is our next studio guest? Thank you so much, Felix and Julius. Next up is rallying and Audi legend, Michel Mouton. I myself was part of the Audi team and witnessed live what we achieved with the Audi Quattro in the World Rally Championship back then. And I believe that Audi will succeed again in taking a great step into the future of motorsport with the Audi RSQ e-tron rally car. Motorsport thrives on developing technology and pushing it to the limit. Welcome, Michelle. Salut, Molly. Michelle, when you hear the words rally and Audi, you of course think of one name, and that is Michelle Mouton. Back in San Remo in 81, you were the first woman to ever win a round of the World Rally Championship, and you did so in the Audi Quattro. So what did you think when you heard that Audi would be taking part in the Dakar Rally for the first time in 2022? I wasn't all that surprised. After all, Audi has a successful rally history and the necessary know-how for sure. But 
I was surprised when I saw the Audi RS Q e-tron. Even a driver with lots of rally experience and a real Audi fan like me is amazed at the sight of this vehicle. Amazed? In what way? Well, Audi has uh, never sent standard rally or racing car into any race. And I associate Audi with a very special time in my career. With the Audi Quattro, they not only had the perfect car for me, but uh, also set up a great team with a lot of experience and a shared will to win. This is quite comparable with the Audi RS Q e-tron and the Dakar team today, I suppose. Yes, and talking of the Dakar team, last but not least, I'm delighted to welcome a very familiar face to this conversation, Sven Quant. My name is Sven Quant. I'm the team principal of Q Motorsport. I've had experience within the Dakar for more than 30 years. Bringing such a car to the Dakar is something very special. It's like landing on the moon. Some of the engineers said it's the most complex car they ever built in Audi Sport. Nobody has done something like that before. It's the first step into electrifying the desert. Hi Sven. Molly, good to see you. Sven, you have a lot of knowledge about the Dakar and your teams have won the event several times. Would you agree with Michelle? And could you also tell us how many victories do you have so far? Well, I can already count eight victories in, the, in total so far. And yes, I fully agree with Michelle. The concept of the RSQ Atron is new to me and new to the Dakar. As you are now partnering with Audi, what would you say their chances are at the Dakar? In principle, I think anyone who puts themselves and their team up to the ultimate challenge of the Dakar is courageous. But I particularly admire the fact that Audi is entering the Dakar now. Why is that exactly? Why? Because Audi is not competing with just any rally vehicle that has been perfected over many years, but with a totally new concept that was put together within just one year. Michelle, I know that your heart beats for Audi, so comparing Audi's previous successes in rallying, what does this feeling tell you? Audi was already innovative and visionary back then. That's why I am convinced that the Audi of Dakar project also has every chance of becoming another success in Audi's racing history. I am really keeping my finger crossed, wishing you all the best of luck for this new challenge. And Sven, a last word from you. The Audi RS Q Atron is one of the most complex cars I've ever seen and helped to develop in my life. As it is something completely new for all of us, we don't know what to expect yet, but nothing ventured, nothing gained. I'm very positive. We know more by the end of January. Thank you both of you for these very interesting insights. From whichever viewpoint you see this project, it is a real challenge. Now, I'm very happy to have with me in the studio three team members of the Audi Dakar project who play an important role in the development of the Audi RSQ e-tron. The Audi driving team, Stefan Peter Hansel, Carlos Sainz and Matthias Ekstrom. Combined, they have almost 20 Dakar victories and decades of experience in international motorsport. I think what drives me is very easy, is huge passion for motorsport and difficult challenge like this one. When I heard about this project, I said, no, I need to see what will be the future. I want tomorrow to be a smarter, better than I was yesterday. You have to look ahead and be proud of your past. Well, it is a huge pleasure to welcome Stefan, Matthias and Carlos to the show. Hi, guys. Hi. Stefan, I'll start with you. If I've counted correctly, the Dakar 2022 will be your 33rd start. And how many times have you won it? So exactly 33rd time at the start. And I won 40 times, six with a motorcycle and eight with a car. So, wow, you really know what it takes to win the Dakar Rally. But why dare do something completely new now with the Audi RSQ e-tron? You know, to do at the start of the Dakar with uh, always the same car, is, I need to say that it's a little bit boring. When I heard about this project, it's really a big challenge and I want to be a part of this challenge. How about you, Carlos? I feel the same way, although 
I already won the Dakar three times. 2022 is particularly exciting because I'm part of the first Saudi team that has never competed in the Dakar like this before. Neither as a team, nor with such an extraordinary vehicle as the Audi RS Q e-tron. Matthias, compared to the others, this is only your second start at the Dakar Rally. How excited are you? Yeah, really excited. I have the honor of working with the, these two guys, uh, Stefan and Carlos, and I hope I can keep up with them. I love to have the chance to write motorsport history with the Audi team and the Audi RSQ Atron. For me, it's a step into the future. I'm very proud and honored to be a part of this journey. The three of you are, of course, used to competing with professional equipment. Are you, Carlos, as confident in winning with the Audi RSQ e-tron as you have been with previous rally cars? You can never be sure of victory at the Dakar rally. No one can with any vehicle. The Audi RSQ e-tron is definitely professionally equipped and there is a lot of know-how behind it. We will do our best as a team to get this car to the finish line. All of you have been heavily involved in the development of the Audi RSQ e-tron over the past year. Matthias, what has that been like? Intense. Uh, this car was built in just one year. That's a very short uh, period of time to develop, build and test a rally car. And the high complexity of the car requires constant adaptation and flexibility from engineers as well as from us drivers. Uh, we didn't have much time to find new solutions in the event of setbacks. The team always came up with the new ideas to further improve the car and figure out new ways of doing things. Stefan, it's no coincidence that you're called Mr. Dakar. So as an experienced driver, what do you think? Will your newly gained knowledge of the Audi RSQ e-tron special technology be sufficient enough to successfully complete the Dakar rally? That exactly is a point which nobody can predict 100%. Now we just have to wait and see whether this new concept can handle 14 full days of racing under the most extreme condition. I'm very optimistic and can hardly wait to get started. In my eyes, Audi has already won the first place as a pioneer in motorsport with this daring project. And a comment from you, Carlos? The car is ready to race in time for the Dakar. This is an achievement that was only possible with a team that perfectly worked in sync. We drivers would therefore like to take this opportunity to thank everyone who made this amazing team effort possible. Well, thank you so much for your special driver insights. I wish the three of you together with your co-drivers the best of luck at the Dakar Rally. Thank you. Thank you very much, Molly. Thank you very much, Molly. A bit of luck never hurts at the Dakar. Now that I've had the chance to talk to the Audi driver team, Felix is pleased to welcome the newest member of the Audi racing family, famed racer and Jim Carner legend, Ken Block. Audi's history and heritage in rally is really what brought me into actually knowing about rally's existence and influenced me into eventually becoming a rally driver. So for me, it's a, it's a very special partnership. I'm very honored that Audi is working with myself to develop this entire project and the fact that Audi's building me a one-off project car, it's really a dream come true. Hi Ken, first of all, congratulations on your new partnership with Audi. You're now officially a member of the Audi team. How does that make you feel? Well, I... I'm just really proud because for me, it's not just a partnership, it's a dream that has become reality. It feels a bit like coming home. I've been a fan of the Audi brand since I was quite young. Uh, when Audi was racing the Quattro rally cars in the World Rally Championship. But now Audi has reached a new crossroads, heading towards the future. And it feels especially exciting to be with them at this point in time. Yes, I'm sure you're referring to Audi shifting its focus towards electric mobility. And that is also the centerpiece of your current partnership with Audi, right? Yes, exactly. Uh, we just unveiled our first Gymkhana prototype and my first ever fully electric Gymkhana car. The car was just recently presented and it looks awesome. Did you already have the chance to test it? Uh, yes, I did. Uh, it's amazing but totally different from the cars I'm used to driving. Oh yes, I can imagine. And I also can't wait for the first Gymkhana movie with the S1 Hunichan. 
finally. Because this show obviously has a focus on Audi's upcoming participation in the Dakar Rally, I'd like to ask you what you had thought when you saw the Audi RS Q e-tron for the first time. Honestly, I don't think there's a racer out there who doesn't get pumped seeing this unique vehicle. I think this car definitely has what it takes to be successful at this car. And unfortunately, I will not be allowed to drive it myself just yet. But believe me, I'm a little jealous of the Audi RSQ e-tron drivers at the Dakar. Oh, I am too. Thanks for having time for us, Ken. Uh, well, thank you. Uh, and I look forward to following the rally in January and I wish the team success and the best of luck. Thank you very much, Ken. Bye bye. Ken is one of many familiar faces from the motorsport community that are rooting for the Audi Dakar team. Let's take a look at who else is wishing us good luck in these following video messages. It's time to write a new chapter in the Dakar Rally story. On behalf of every Audi fan in the region, I can safely say that we are very proud of the journey you are about to go on. And we want to let you know that we are behind you all the way. Good luck team. Over the years, Audi has been at the forefront of innovation. Best of success and good luck to you from China. We wish you the best of luck and look forward to being witness to your success. I am excited for the Audi Dakar Rally and can't wait to see your racing. Good luck with the challenge ahead. Sincerest greetings from the Audi headquarters in the Middle East to all participants of the 2022 Dakar Rally and of course, especially to the Audi team. We are very excited about the rally debut of the Audi RSQ e-tron. We are all very much ready and excited to electrify the desert. On behalf of many Audi fans and staff in our region, I would like to take this opportunity to wish the Audi team all the best ahead of the race. We are behind you all the way. Thank you for all of your support. I can hardly believe it, Felix, but this already brings us to the end of our Road to Dakar show. We've had the pleasure of speaking with legends, leaders, and of course, the drivers and team who will soon embark on this great adventure. Yes, on January 1st, 2022, the Road to Dakar project will become a reality. We are all very, very excited, and we hope you enjoyed the countdown show. Personally, I can't wait to see the Audi RSQ e-tron in action. Yeah, me too. So from all of us, I would like to wish the entire Audi team all the very best at the 2022 Dakar Rally.